Hey guys. Um, this is something new and something exciting and um, this is episode one of Warren Melissa Go Shop Touring. <laughs> so um, we thought it would be cool to bring you guys to some of the shops that we deal with and um, that's out there so that you guys can get an understanding of like where we go and what's available and what they do and what trails are in the areas and who the owners are. And um, the first one is with Darren. Um, you're going to see us straight after this. Um, Darren owns, is part owner at Specialized in Paul, and they've been great, um, especially with us uh, at Warren Melissa Go Riding, with um, regards to memberships and with support and everything. Finding so, new finding new trails. They, they're doing some amazing stuff, and you're going to hear it straight after this. So, let us know what you think about this new thing we're doing, and um, we're going to keep going to some new stores, and yeah, hopefully, you enjoy it. So, let us know. Cheers. Bye. How's it guys? So today we are at Specialized Impal with Darren Hoofs. Darren owns this amazing establishment. This is episode one of our shop tour series. So we thought it would be a good idea to expose some of the shops and what's available in the areas because not everyone always gets out and knows what is around and what services and what trails. And um, so this is not an interview, this is just a chat. And Darren's going to tell us a little bit about how this establishment got started and, and just what's here and what's available to the locals. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> it's not going to be a long chat. I mean, it's just so that people are aware of, of, of yeah. what is, what's available. Okay. Yeah, I think, I mean, in short, um, Paul um, and myself, um, uh, you know, we, we in the, in the heart of lockdown when everybody was stuck in their homes and that type of stuff, uh, you know, we always looked at wanting to do something. We think that obviously Paul is growing out of it. What do they, what do they say in Afrikaans? Eight dollar, not eight or whatever you want to call it. Um, when it comes to cycling, yeah. uh, because of the trails, we believe. Yeah. Um, and um, Trails, in all honesty, you'll never make money out of trails. Yes. It's a community initiative. It's a, you're giving back the whole time. The yeah. benefits actually go to the town. Um, yeah. So the coffee shops and the restaurants and all that benefit out of out of the trails. Trails are an endless pit of yeah. money that you're throwing away. You know, um, <laughs> but it's nice. You know, yeah. so um, and 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 specialized uh, uh, is. I mean, there's so many amazing bike brands out there which we all love and, and we just um, uh, specialize as, as we believe one of them. So it's great to have yeah. a store like this um, and be able to put it, put it here in Paul and showcase it. Um, Paul is, a beautiful venue. Yeah, and, and Paul has got this amazing knack of seeing, uh, visualizing something. You yeah. know, I mean, uh, this, this was an old wine cellar um, and the way that he, that he, sometimes you sit back and you're like, okay, how did you think of that? Or how yeah. did you do this? Yeah. And so he's been uh, uh, the visionary around, uh, around this old yeah. wine cellar, which is, uh, which is on his farm. Um, obviously Specialized were key um, in helping us develop the look and the feel and that. Um, they've got an amazing team um, to help implement. And, and so, yeah, uh, we opened it and, and um, holding thumbs and, and seeing how it goes, you know? Yeah, no, look, it's, it's a beautiful place. You guys, obviously, it's not just the shop. You guys have a service area as well. Yeah, there's a couple of elements um, to the store as such. Mm. Obviously, there's, there's different parts of, of, of the, bigger, the, the bigger vision, yeah. if you want to call it that. Um, but from the store, store point of view, um, you've got your retail area, um, which then displays and sells all the uh, variety of bikes. Obviously, yeah. we're very top heavy in Paul, I believe, yeah. at this point in time when it comes to trails. Um, cool. But what a lot of people don't know is that there's amazing road routes and, and gravel taking up the way that it is at yeah. the moment. And we're busy doing a whole activation when it comes to gravel. So we, 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 we stock those, that yeah. variety of items. Cool. Uh, a big focus for us, like you know, with the Euro Legacy project is the yes. kids. Yeah. So um, that gets sorted. And then we've got um, a full on A grade retool fit studio. Um, we've got Beatrice um, and Clint and Monet that are all registered fitters. Um, and that's something really special. You know, we don't, I still believe, doesn't matter what brand it is, bikes 
there's certain brands out there um, yeah. where they all are right up there. You yes, know? Yeah. Um, and they're amazing bikes and, and all of that. But you can buy a bike and that bike just must fit you properly. It yes. might, another brand yeah. can be just as great, but it won't fit you properly. Yes. Um, and yeah. we believe that comes down to actually fitting the bike properly for the needs that you want or the yeah. type of terrain you're going to be yeah. riding in. And we actually don't like selling a bike without a bike fit. We yeah. make sure that that person has the bike fit. It's, it's vital and yeah. it makes such a big difference to them. So the fit studio is, is, is a very, very important part of the store. And um, we've got a, a group of amazing guys in our workshop um, cool. and service area and that type of cool. stuff. Everything from shock services to normal services and that type of stuff. They sort Zane and Ethan and the rest, Mike and the rest of the team, they sort all okay. that out. Um, there's a couple of other elements around the, around the store um, that we also, also help out with. Um, then you've got the coffee shop here. Um, We've heard many outside. good things yeah. about that. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully, yeah. uh, you know, everything links to each other um, and complements each other. That's what you want cool. at the end of the day. It's not about just going to a bike store or going to a trail or, or whatever. You yeah. must be able to, to enjoy yourself or the whole family. Yeah, and it's a very welcoming atmosphere. So that's, that's really cool. But shop aside, <laughs> there's some good stuff happening in the area and you kind of spearheading that. Um, with regards to Paul Trails. Do you just want to tell us just a little bit? I know we've, we've done a couple of videos and we'll link them above, but um, just a little bit about Paul Trails so that people understand yeah. what's happening, what's going to happen, where we're going with this whole yeah. thing. I think uh, uh, we get asked a lot how suddenly over the last, we moved here almost, four, four, what's it, almost five years ago um, and uh, you moved to Paul, which at that time was this small community. We yeah. moved down here for that community. It's yeah. a, the people are amazing here, the landowners. And there's just something about Paul, um, which is really, really special. Um, and um, Albie, Wim Albie and Charles, they, uh, Wim Albie owns Reeboks Kloof and Charles Back obviously owns with Abby owns Spa Street and Fairview. And they convinced us to move down um, to try and influence a trail network, what we were doing up in Joburg. Okay. Um, and it started there, you know, we moved down thinking, okay, great, we're gonna just do a couple of little trails here at Reeboks Cliff. it's nice for the venue, and hopefully they're gonna get a couple more people yeah. and that type of stuff. Um, and we soon started to see, hey, but Paul has just got such an amazing, such amazing potential when it comes to adventure activities, um, yet there's hardly any yeah. trails in that. So we started and it started, getting bigger and more landowners started coming and saying, it's like what you were doing there, can we expand it? Um, and we decided to go for an entire network concept. Um, we've been very blessed in that the landowners, although in the beginning we were very hesitant, um, that we've got amazing support from them. That's so we, we, we traversed through almost 60 properties around Paul wow. Mountain. Um, it's, I think, important to note that when you've got a municipality that is just so, so, open to support and helping and that type of stuff. Um, the Drakensee municipality is just, yeah, there's not, not words to describe yeah. the people within the municipality and how much support we get, support we get from them with the landowners. That's so fantastic. it's allowed us to be able to build these networks. And yeah. the whole vision around the network is to sit down and say, how do we create a place where a family can come with a dad and a mom and kids and they've got something to enjoy. How can a professional cyclist come that needs to do yeah. their winter training leading up to epic or world yeah. champs? And then you've got like the drop down. So you've got downhill and XEO and yeah. Endura. And how do you mold this into an area where everybody's got something to do? Yeah. Um, and yeah, we hopefully get in there slowly. Yeah. Um, but that's the idea is to provide different terrains. Um, and the overall vision is that everything interlinks. So there's not one venue that is the venue. Yeah. Um, you can stop at seven different, pay, uh, call it registration points yeah. around the mountain, um, and then traverse multiple properties um, on different terrains, but stop along the way and have some cheese at, at, at yeah. Fairview, and then come to the store over here, see here, go to Lanscrew, and go to all these different places and enjoy different activities. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, so hopefully, Hopefully, uh, uh, we get in there. We get in there slowly, you know. But it's not without a, it's an unbelievable team and landowners and municipality. They, they actually make it work, you know. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Um, 
We filmed at Spice Root mm -hmm. and we've done a bit at Diamant and then we've started at the top of, we call it the specialized drop zone, which is um, Advocate Trail and then we found this really cool trail at the bottom called Squirrel, which Melissa and I both loved. <laughs> um, but there's a couple of others that we still need to do and then um, you guys are busy doing some work at Rebox Cliff at the mm -hmm. moment. So, so we... Obviously, it's winter, so it's massive trail building season. Duan and Francois and his teams are, are flat out at the moment. Um, we launched the new Lubbery Up Trail yesterday morning, um, so we haven't even announced it yet, but it's open and it's ready. That's a new trail. That's First to find out about <laughs> that. <laughs> so, obviously, a lot of people have been talking about the Lubbery Drop, the descent yes. that, that, that we opened, which was in December or whatever. But it was a problem to get up, you know, into the reserve yeah. and that's going on the roads and that. So, Laboria really come to the party, so we've got the new Laboria up trail. That's open, it's something to give it a go, it's really special. Okay. Here, around the store, um, you've got Diamant that's been upgraded, yeah. um, Advocate that's been upgraded, um, the Long Clip trail, which you guys haven't done yet, yeah. I think we're doing that in a couple of weeks. That's been upgraded, um, some new stuff like um, additions and tweaks to trails and that type of stuff has, has been done. So this whole node, yeah. if you want to call it, we call it the south node, yeah. from Spice Root and Lanscrew and all the way around to La Barie, um, there's in excess of 60, 60 to 70 different trails um, wow. within this node and we, we like to see it as a, the play node. So <clears throat> a lot of the stuff is very manicured. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of this stuff's very manicured, um, but a lot of fun, and and you got the natural stuff in that. Yeah. And then the northern side is Reebok Clough, Loom, Ridgeback, yeah. and all of that. Um, Reebok Clough is currently closed um, for the next two weeks. Yeah. Um, trust me, it'll be worth it when it We're reopens. We're waiting for that. But, yeah, definitely. Um, Reebok Clough is so special. I mean, a guy by the name of Hans Diechenar, um originally built um, a lot of the sections in Reebok Clough. Yeah. Um, and I mean, he's an absolute legend. Um, and you know, we, we, we have expanded it obviously significantly yeah. from there, but it's, we've tried to keep to that, that original vision of this raw, natural type of riding. It's not maintained once every 10 years. We maintain it every second week. So it's very well maintained and all of that. Um, and we just felt that it was time that Rebox Clough got some serious yeah. love. So we currently got four machines in there. Wow with Jan van Skaldbeek and his teams and that and um, working with Duan and them making some tweaks but still keeping it down to that natural yeah. um, and it links now to a loom uh, skydive the loom purple roots and um, pine cone which is obviously something that yes, we're busy, yeah. busy planning and all of that so in the next couple of weeks we, we're very excited um, uh, about what's coming at Rebox and a, and a loom and that type of stuff um, yeah I can see the way Darren's smiling. It's obviously there's some good stuff coming. So yeah, guys, um, that, that's that's about it. We just wanted to give you guys an introduction to the store and to the area and yeah, and what, what it's all about. And so Darren, thank you so much for no, taking some time you. out and giving us a, a, a bit of an idea of what goes into the trail side of it and the shop side of it. And then as this is our first episode, Darren and the guys from Winelands have been very kind to give us two trail memberships, uh, which we'll be giving away on the channel so check out the details below we'll, we'll give some details so thank you to Darren for that it's just so that you guys can come out here and experience the awesomeness spread the word and and yeah just come see all the hard work that's going into these awesome trails so that we can have more fun as a as a bunch of riders so keep an eye out for that and we'll see you soon thanks thanks sir. Okay. Cheers.